Chris, we talk a lot about disruptive technologies and your product, Airlander, really is disruptive. Tell us what the project is. So we've got um, a sort of an airship that gets about 60% of its lift um, aerostatically, so buoyant lift, and about 40% from being shaped like a wing. So it's a mix of a wing and an airship, and it's got a bit of helicopter thrown in. So it's a new, an entirely new way of flying. Um, it brings us lots of different capabilities, and it's a really exciting project that we're, we're just progressing through at the moment. So how big is it, and what are you going to use it for? Okay. It's big. It's really big. So we're 92 metres long. To put that into context, we're about another 25% longer than either a 747 or an A380. Um, what we're going to use it for is three things. First of all, being in the air for a long time. So for um, endurance, being an endurance platform, that might be surveillance, coast guard duties, police helicopters. Um, secondly, passengers, the ultimate tourist experience. It'll be amazing, it'll be quiet, it'll be serene, you'll have floor to ceiling windows. And then finally, cargo, and particularly around remote logistics, we can land and take off from pretty much any surface, including water, ice, desert, and we can get to the middle of nowhere carrying whatever people want. Now the programme itself has hit some challenges, where are you now with the programme and how are you recovering from those challenges? Okay, so we had a, a very well publicised heavy landing in August last year on our second test flight. We've repaired all that and actually we've changed a lot of process and procedures, we really looked internally about what we could do better to make sure that never happened. We've now done two further test flights in May and June and every couple of weeks we'll do another test flight and we're preparing for one right now and we'll just continue pushing the envelope going a bit um, further away from Cardington, going a bit faster, going a bit higher and by the end of this year, by the end of 2017, we'll be flying all over the UK and possibly Europe and doing customer trials with our aircraft.